All right, so now we're looking at BCFRQ number two. As usual, if I have any mistakes, I'll put it in the description below or put it um, in the um, uh, pin in the comment. So we have a looks like we have d we have a position vector particle moves in waves so dx dt d y t d. I went and put these into the calculator right here. So notice that here I put my dx dt and my dy dt right here, just um, to input those in. Find the slope of the tangent line. That means I want dy dx, which by chain rule is dy dt over dx dt, or it's a rearrangement of chain rule, if you will. Now they already gave this to you, so you want to do ln of two plus t squared over square root of one plus t squared. You don't need to take any more derivatives. They already gave you the derivative at t equals four. So that's ln of two plus, you know, you, you could just use your calculator for that, but um, you're gonna do ln of um, six over square root of five, right? Because two squared is, sorry, four is four squared. I'm messing up. That's why I should use my calculator. It's ln of 16 plus two is 18, and then that's square root of 17 there, like that. Right, so whatever that is, that's going to be ln 18 divided by square root of 17. And that is 0 0.701. Find the speed of the particle. Speed is equal to the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, right? And so that's gonna be the square root of the x component square. Uh, so, um, like it's like this is dx dt, this is dy dt, so it's going to be square root of 17 squared plus ln of 18 squared, right? So we just do square root of that's going to just be 17 plus ln of 18, all of that squared, and that would give me 5.035. Uh, yeah, five, yeah, uh, no units, no units, okay. Um, and then um, they want you to find the acceleration vector. Acceleration vector is just simply the second derivative. Which is really the first derivative of this guy, right? So um, I would do math n derivative of x at of y1. Let's do y1. This is my x. Wait, y1 was my yeah x coordinate. That at evaluated at four is going to be 0 0.970. Let me just make sure I did that right. Y equals y1. Yeah, is my x coordinate. Okay. So then we just do the same thing, but now we'll do it with uh, y2. And I get uh, 0.444. Okay, that's my acceleration vector there. Find the y coordinate of the particle's position at time t equals six. Okay, so we got to do we got to do basically integral of everything or antiderivative. The way you would do this is you know that you know that like at time four you have this position, right? So let me write that down. So at t equals four, we know the position is one five. Um, is the position vector. So how can you do this? Because you know I can't just do a gen generic antiderivative of this. So how do I find the position? Is right. I just say the integral of dx dt dt from say um, from four to six would be the x of six minus x of four by fundamental theorem of calculus, right? So I can find the x coordinate at six by doing this integral on my calculator, and then x of four I know is one, right? It's the x coordinate, and I know the integral from y to six of dy dt. The velocity is the change in position, right? It's y of 6 minus y of 4. And you know this value is 5. And these you can do by, by integration. So x of 6 ultimately is going to be 1 plus the integral from 4 to 6 of dx dt dt. And y of 6 is going to be 5 plus. I'm just moving this 5 to the other side. Integral 4 to 6 of dy dt dt. Right, so then we just do math integration from four to six of vars, y vars, uh, y1, dx, and I'm gonna add one to that. And that is 11.201. And then we'll just do the same thing, but now we'll do it with the, the y variable. 
and then we're going to add 5 to it this time. 11.571. So the position particle is 11.201, 11.571. Find the total distance the particle travels along the curve from 4 to 6. So total distance is always from 4 to 6. The speed Now, remember, this is my y1, this is my y2. It's not the derivative, right? So I gotta do, I gotta do an integral. I hate doing the calculator questions. There's just so much calculator typing in. Okay, so then here I'm gonna have to do, okay, square root of y1 squared plus y2 squared. That would be distance traveled integral, so 12.136. Okay, it's tough with these that are also numeric because it's like you don't get any intuition about it or really graphing, but yeah, that's what I got.